Now that we've discussed the use of ACF, we're now going to go through the procedures of actually pre-coating your machine. In this particular case, we determined that this machine with 26 spin discs require 1.87 liters. We're going to round that off to two. It's just easier because a lot of the bags of, of console or ACF does come in liter bags or two liter bags. In order to pre-coat, we're going to first open up the door. We're then going to turn the wheel so that you have a smooth surface within the bottom of the wheel. We're going to place a towel in that surface. And then we're going to put the ACF on the towel. Before you do so, you certainly want to put a dust mask on. Now that we put the ACF on the towel, we're going to now cover the ACF with a second towel. The purpose of this really is important because the ACF really does float. It's very, very fine. And if you don't cover the ACF, and thus it becomes submerged when solvent is there, it may float up into the cavity that will take the clay then up into the recovery head. So we now have a towel, the ACF, a second towel on top of the ACF, and now we're going to close the door. And typically the program that is written is program 20, and that will drop half of the spin disc housing to the wheel. It'll then spin, and then it will drop the remaining amount of ACF, used ACF, and solvent either into a still or into a decanter. Then the solvent will be pumped into the wheel, the clay submerged, and then we'll get into rotation, and then we'll circulate the solvent and the clay again back across the spin disc. This is a spin disc, and again there are 26 in this particular machine. The pre-coating occurs when the clay is adhered to the outside of the spin disc. And thus, when we do the pre-coating and the spinning and dropping, the spinning and dropping spins this, centrifugally taking the ACF and the solvent off. 